thank you so much for this wonderful discussion this was brilliant it really opened our minds to a new dimension thank you so much well i know we are uh, close to the closing ceremony yes um, please enjoy what you are eating but please make sure to look in my direction as well i have waited for this moment since morning so i thought to myself so what if i'm going to speak in the end but i know one thing no one can dance my dance <laughs> all right thank you srm university ap for having us all over here this was a very very unique interaction and a great experience of being here and being a part of such a prestigious event well everybody has said something very unique and something interesting and very intellectual i am going to represent the aam aadmi actually i shouldn't be saying the aam aadmi but the mango people i correct myself please <laughs> yes i didn't mean it that way no all right um i cannot i just cannot not read this poem this is a poem by gio evan a poet from italy try to travel otherwise you may become racist and you may end up believing that your skin is the only one to be right that your language is the most romantic and that you were the first to be the first travel because if you don't travel then your thoughts won't be strengthened won't get filled with ideas your dreams will be born with fragile legs and then you will end up believing in tv shows and in those who invent enemies that perf- that fits perfectly with the nightmares to make your life live in terror travel because travel teaches you to say good morning to everyone regardless of which sun we come from travel because travel teaches to say good night to everyone regardless of the darkness that we carry inside travel because traveling teaches to resist not to depend to accept others not just for who they are but also for what they can never be to know what we are capable of to feel part of a family beyond borders beyond traditions and culture traveling teaches us to be beyond travel otherwise you may end up believing that you are made only for a panorama and instead inside you there are wonderful landscapes this is very important so we all must travel well in the ancient times and we still carry on the legacy of india it says vasudeva kutumbakam it's a sanskrit phrase that is found in maha upanishads which means that the whole world is one family for me for me three words that come to my mind consciously or oh, this is fourth the three words are connection conversations and community well this has this this kind of stuff has really given us joy and happiness in our past but i think we have forgotten about it the reason being this was simple living first of all the concepts that we share from different nations whether it's ubuntu coming from africa that's my favorite ubuntu i've heard about this so many times there is wabi sabi sabi ikigai there is a confucian philosophy from different kind of worlds all together we're all learning and there is no limitation to learning conversations are important because you can sort many a things without conversations may, maybe there will be things unresolved you know i have this habit of poking people and making a conversation and i am not ashamed of it because i've always loved it i've created a connect that is how a connect happens we all poke people and they are like hooks and if you want to collect hooks you can end up in many connects and connect does not understand one particular language no it does not you know what it understands it understands you being genuine that's what it understands that's all many many years ago community is that it we really believed in this we were the children of the community 
or a tribe or a large section, section of society. But unfortunately, over a period of time, we are just shrunk to four people in a household. And this is also diminishing. In such a scenario, building bridges and creating connects is most important. We are building communities all over the world. Have we ever realized that earlier we wanted to go to a new place? We would, you know, stop by, roll the window down in a car and check with different people, you know, oh, where is this place? Ye rasta kahan jayega? But now, you know what's happened. Google auntie or uncle has taken it all. Now we don't stop by, ask people. We're not correct joining the dots. We're not connecting that much. It's sad, but we want to build a new world, a better world where we can connect in a better way. Well, when we talk about big strategies, there are no numbers that I want to discuss. There is no statistics that I want to share, but I know that digital technologies have been integrated into foreign languages learning classrooms for a long time, especially during pandemic when the borders were closed and we were not traveling. Everything came to us in the room. I'm glad we have progressed, but at the same time, you know, looking at a cup of tea or a coffee in an Insta or a Facebook, it's not giving the same feeling as looking at it in reality. You sniff the coffee, you sip the coffee, it's different. And that's what happens when you send your children to different destinations, let them learn the cultures, the traditions, the value system of some other country. They evolve. The key to forming cross-cultural connections is an approach with an open mind to build genuine curiosity about other cultures, understanding the uniqueness and beauty of the cultures the world over and embracing diversities lays the foundation for stronger connections. By crossing borders and building bridges, we want to gain valuable extended knowledge and experiences and diverse pedagogical traditions and values and philosophies. They are very important for us. As you grow into leaders, and mind you, you will graduate, right? So you will become good leaders who are not only self-aware, but also self-motivated to ensure that different individuals are validated and valued, regardless of their race, religion, beliefs, please create a better world. Cultural intelligence is the ability to understand and interpret different cultural norms and behaviors. Developing this makes you more, perspect more receptive and adaptive. By demonstrating respect and understanding of different cultures' perspective, you can easily establish trust, credibility. That's important. When engaging with individuals from different backgrounds, it is important that you're mindful of their cultural norms, practices, and taboos. Avoid making any assumptions. Please do not make any assumptions. Ask. Talk to them. As a world of business transcends beyond regions, the ability to navigate cross-culture boundaries is certainly a valuable skill and a life skill. Well, I must tell you, somewhere we're all the same. We're really all the same. It's a perception that we are different. Trust me. Deep down somewhere, we can all find a common ground. The most important being kindness, love, sharing. These are the basics of humanity and that's important. In the beginning of the session this morning, when Sir said to all of us that they are six years young, I love that. You know what came to my mind? There are kids who must have already left this university, finished their studies. When they came here, they were empty handed. They wrote, margins laid out. They were written upon. They skipped lines, shot, overshot the margins, doodled, dialed. Some followed some rules, but some followed their heart. And most of them found a middle ground. Each story in this world 
is uniquely scripted and it'll always continue to be we're all somewhere story writers of our own stories let's create an incredible one but when we are told all hundreds and thousands of voices are going to sing the same song in the same breath what is that srmap thank you Thank you.